All right, here we have another video. This is going to be about uh, reading your VAT's resistance in your existing key. How to figure out what key you need and what value is in the key. So this is going to work for the single-sided, the double-sided, the Corvette style. You read all three of them the same way. So here's the deal. If you already have a key that's starting the car, it's real easy to figure out what the value is versus going to the deal or getting somebody to, to try to figure it out for you or whatever. Especially, I get calls when people tell me they went to the dealer, they got a new VATS key cut, and it doesn't start the car. It turns the ignition, but it don't start the car. Here's a reason that might, might, that might happen. You might have bought the car used. You don't know the history on it. So the VATS module might have went bad in it. Rarely they go bad, but they do go bad. And it was replaced. At that point, the value was changed. So nobody knows what the value is. The dealer don't know it. And each one of these keys, this key has 15 values. This one has 15 values. This one has 15 values. So unless you know the correct value, your vehicle is not going to start. So if you already have a key that's starting the car, let's say this is a key. It's a no-brainer. Just read your key. That way you know you got the exact value. You know what it, what it is because you have a key. Nothing's worse. You order a key and it don't start your car. You done cut it and everything. Now you can't return it because the key can't be resold. So this is why I'm in the habit. Oh, let me look. Make sure you have a good meter. Set it to ohms. See, if I touch the probes, it changes the value. So make sure you don't touch the probes at all. I've gotten to the habit of checking the keys or reading the keys three times, 1.46. Because over the years, I've tested a lot of keys, used a lot of different meters. And that's two times. And the values changed. They go all over the place on some of the meters. Maybe batteries going dead, don't know. But I've seen it, so I've, I'm comfortable with doing it three or four times to make sure it's consistent. There you go, 1.46. This key right here is going to be a number six. The closest one is 1.47. I've been doing this since around 1990. So I've touched a lot of these keys. I've dealt with a lot of these systems. I've traced a lot of the wires for the VAT systems. Looks for shorts or whatever the case might be. For reasons why the car don't start when you have a key. Um... All right, let's do this one time. Two times. Three times. All right, I'm comfortable with that. 3.73, which is going to be the closest one. Here you go, number 10. The closest is number 10, 3.74. All right, let's do the Corvette style. And having something hold the key is, 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 is good because some people be trying to do it in their hands. I've got good with it, but I like this way better. It's just, that way I ain't got to worry about balancing the key and trying to get the exact readings. All right, 299 once. 299 twice. Three times. I'm comfortable with that. The closest one is going to be number nine, which is 3.0. That's about it. That's how you read the vast value. That way you can make the right selection. We do sell the keys on the website. So if you need the keys, give me a buzz. Um, I'll go to the website. If you want me to read your key, you can always mail it in. You need me to read the key and cut the key and then mail it back to you. I could do that as well. Uh, go to the website, www.acmlocksmithgroup.com. Thank you for watching and I appreciate y'all.